Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Jamshit here from Avir Medical Group. Uh, this video is to throw some light on a very commonly made statement, especially nowadays during the Corona pandemic. You must have all heard that vitamin C, which is to be present in all the citrus fruits, etc., uh, would act as a cure or if not prevent us from getting Corona pandemic. So I'm uh, trying to give you some facts about is this correct, is the statement correct or uh, what are the various aspects related to it. So I'll just briefly touch on a uh, little bit of interesting facts about the history of uh, vitamin C and uh, what is the uh, medical understanding according to studies and published data on the statement that was mentioned earlier. Uh, vitamin C, uh, you know the chemical name of vitamin C is ascorbic acid. Now, ascorbic acid means ascorbic acid, which means against scorby or scurvy. Now, scurvy is a disease which was known to man uh, quite earlier, um, leading to a lot of problems in man, um, like poor skin health, poor oral health, bleeding from the gums, uh, problems with your hair, joint problems and all that. And this was very common in uh, sailors, particularly in the 13th to 14th and 15th, 16th centuries where they used to go on long voyages. Now, people did not know what was the reason causing these illnesses. And, uh, you know, history says that um, famous travelers like Vasco da Gama or Mechelen, they had lost almost more than 50% of their crew on board because of this illness and nobody knew the reason also. It was only later, around the 18th century, that people discovered that something in certain fruits and certain vegetables can prevent this disease. Now, this was noted. Uh, it was James Lind who actually identified this. And then uh, the product actually, what is the chemical? It is crystallized in the early 20th century. Now, ascorbic acid, uh, when you prepare it, it's a colorless or a white crystal uh, form. It's a white crystalline form. Now, when we say vitamin C, what comes to our mind is this, an orange or a lemon or a mosambi or whatever you call it, uh, fruits in the uh, citrus group uh, family. This is what comes to our mind as the source of vitamin C. That is right, this has vitamin C in it. Now, for a typical man or a, or a woman in adult age, uh, there is something called a recommended daily allowance or a RDA. Now, this varies for different um, vitamins and minerals. According to the um, guidelines, the uh, recommended daily allowance for vitamin C is 90 milligram. Uh, per day 90 milligram 90 now it it will increase a little bit for pregnant women and for people who are smoking uh, about 20 to 30 milligram increases there but generally speaking 90 milligram is what you require per day in your diet um, now if you look at the sources of vitamin d vitamin c there is a trend to buy off the rack um, you know additives or off the rack capsules and tablets of vitamin c if you go to the pharmacies now, you will see that the rack containing vitamin C supplements is run out of stock. Uh, this is because of uh, people thinking and buying this to prevent Corona disease. Now in the uh, culture of Indian subcontinent mainly, and if you look at the Middle East available um, vegetables and fruits, the richest source of vitamin C, which is currently available commercially to buy is this. Now, uh, I know that many of the people from Indian subcontinent will recognize this. It's called Amla there. Uh, the English name is Indian Gooseberry. Uh, I had shown this to some of my Arab colleagues and they did not uh, recognize or identify. Probably it's not available in the normal stores. Now, this is called Amla. This is one of the richest sources of vitamin D available. In about 100 gram of this uh, Amla or Indian Gooseberry, there is around 400 to 500 uh, milligram of um, vitamin C. Now the other sources which are good are guava is a good source. Guava. Uh, then you have the capsicum or bell pepper, especially the red and the uh, yellow variant of uh, bell pepper. Now after this comes strawberries, papayas and all that and below that comes our oranges or citrus fruits. So this is not the richest source of vitamin C. So if you are planning to take vitamin C, go to the supermarket or the bakala or wherever you are and try to buy the um, you know if you get indian gooseberry that's really good or um, papaya or guava or uh, bell pepper 
and this also would supplement these are the sources now coming to check if it has any role in preventing corona infection now when a medical uh, professional gives an advice or a medical body gives a guideline it should be based on certain studies or documented facts uh, we so far don't have any studies published regarding the effect of vitamin c on corona but we have from previous experiences on similar illnesses in the past the most common being common cold you know that everybody gets uh, two or three or four episodes of common cold in a year and most of these common colds are caused by viruses again uh, not corona but mainly rhinoviruses which is the most common variant of viruses and then corona also causes influenza also causes so whatever reports and results are out are based on the effects of vitamin c on these illnesses not particularly on corona so drawing a parallel we can say that this might act in the same way uh, on the corona virus uh, what is seen is that um and uh, this is to be underlined and understood very carefully there is no effect i repeat there is no effect on vitamin c in preventing a person from getting a viral infection this is uh, this is the fact the only place where it has shown some effect is to reduce the duration of the illness and probably reduce the severity of the illness that somebody is getting so this is the actually uh, documented medical fact there are a lot of messages and uh, communications and uh, wrong information going about regarding vitamin c and corona and prevention and all that so i thought it would be a good avenue to clear this for all of you so just to highlight the bottom facts vitamin c is good for you in recommended allowances it does not prevent you uh, prevent from getting corona infection or any other viral infection but it will certainly reduce your uh, severity of the illness and the duration of the illness once you get it Uh, the most common or the most richest sources of vitamin c available in the market don't go for uh, tablets and um, supplements go for fresh vegetables and fruits um, which is including indian uh, gooseberry um, the guava um, pep, uh, bell pepper red and uh, yellow uh, um, capsicums or then your citrus fruits etc now one important thing i forgot to mention earlier was you know while cooking or boiling it the vitamin c loses its potency so you don't take cooked food uh, i mean as a source of uh, vitamins you have to have raw or fresh vegetables and fruits for this hopefully this would have been of some value to some of you at least uh, thank you